part of the internet welcome 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 to our well you can look at it you can see it's our third it's our fourth you can see it's our first night of the live phone in wonderful lovely to have you with us and we're streaming on facebook we're streaming on youtube of course and we're streaming on twitch so if you haven't followed me on twitch then it's scotty underscore mcclure how amazing is that? But a very, very warm welcome to you. Friday night, nothing gets past me, of course. Just coming up to a quarter past 10, 22.14, and that's British summertime. Oi, oi, Scotty. Oi, oi, Jordan. Dinky do, I shall respond so that you know we are live. How amazing is that? D, uh, D, 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 I, N, K. Yes, that's what we want, isn't it? Right, so there we are. So we've got that, and I'm going to put B I N K Y. Yes, Dinky, and a hyphen, capital D, double O, Dinky Do. Oh, there's two double O's. That's it. So we'll take that off, do that. There we are. And I'm now going to send that to you so you can see me saying Dinky Do. How amazing is that? Scott and McClue, just for you, we are live big style. Welcome, 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 I say. This is our phone in, and of course, try out the number. See how you get on with that. Give it a whirl. 0141-628-9795. 0141-628-9795. Any problem with the number, you tell me, and we will sort it out for you, because that's what it's all about. We're not on TikTok Live tonight because I think they get a bit frightened by the number. So there you are. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Kareem. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Kareem. Uh, do you want to test out the lines and see if they're all working? Because I know that you like to be on fast. And if not, we can change it. That's the beauty of this setup. We can do what we like on here. We can get it sorted out for you. Fantastic stuff, Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Kareem. And thank you for joining us. Now there's somebody calling you live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty, it's Kareem. Oh, uh, Kareem. Kareem, I love when you're the first call. It makes us sound as if we're back on Nation Radio on a Friday night. <laughs> it does. And it is a Friday night as well. <laughs> it is a Friday night and it's just after 10 o'clock. So this would be about right. You know, by the time we've uh, played out the commercials, played the theme tune, had a bit of a chat about the subjects, you know, I think that's going to start bringing people on. Absolutely, Scotty. Uh, uh, hopefully that will be the case when you start your radio. Uh, and my aim is to try and get first on when that happens. <laughs> oh, and listen, I have no doubt you will be because you're very slick at that. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. you're a very clever man, Kareem. I've always said that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Scotty. You know? Just a quick question. Yes. Um, I was reading earlier on, and it was to do with, you know, about opinion polls. Yes. And I am still shocked that the Better Together is still 3% ahead. So would you agree with me? Now, you always hear the terminology or people saying, Scotland has never really voted Conservative, but if we were to play devil's advocate, they really are voting Conservative if yes. they keep voting better together. Yes, if they vote better together, they're voting for the Tories. Having said that, Scotland used to have some really very high calibre Conservatives. Uh -huh. Very interesting, because you see, Alec Douglas Hume was the Prime Minister, as you'll know, and, and he was from the borders, from Coldstream in the borders. So he was uh, he was essentially a Scottish gent, a very old Scottish family, the Douglas Humes. Uh -huh. And um, then you had people like George Younger, Youngers of Alloa, the Brewers, um, out in uh, out in Alloa, funnily enough, and, uh, and out in Stirlingshire. And George was Secretary of State at 34. You had Lord Gould. You had Malcolm Rifkind and all these characters, and they were very fine politicians. 
you know, and very popular in Scotland, even when Ted Heath was the Prime Minister, a lot of Scots were conservative and unionist. Now, things have changed big style. I mean, Labour was very, very powerful in Scotland. Now, I don't think they could even, you know, cause the corn to ruffle in a wind. You see, and the SNP and Labour thoroughly detested each other. And I saw two reasons for that. One was the um, founder of the uh, of the SNP had come directly from the Labour movement. Right. You see, okay. so you'd got that plus the other side of it. They were both chasing the same vote, the working class Scottish vote. You see, and also remember Westminster had a bit of a hold in Scotland because they ran the mines, they decided on the factories and uh, the shipyards yes. and the steel industry. So uh -huh. everything was kind of nationalized plus British railways as it was at the time. So, uh -huh. the, you know, Westminster had a very strong foothold in Scotland. And then uh -huh. the oil revenue started flowing to Westminster when it should have been flowing to Scotland. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's a, and our economy has just been damaged and damaged by a series of conservative governments and governments. But that's been going on for 313 years. Yeah. You know? So it's 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 very interesting from that point of view. But yes, I think this country doesn't really care for the left wing, uh -huh. you know, yeah. and and yeah. and that's that's what you're that's what you're up against. Whereas Scotland is a socialist country with a small s. Yep. You know, yeah, yep. that that's the thing there. So yes, you're quite right. I mean, we are always voting conservative, but I can't see the Tories will come back. About I think they need to drop the term unionist. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, what do you feel about that? Well, I'll be honest, Scotty. If there is going to be an NDF too, and Scotland does vote again to be part of the union, I, I'm stepping back from politics because I just feel that. You hear so many people saying, I'm not a Tory, we, we need to be austerity, but if you're voting to be voting to be part of Better Together, to me, if you're voting for the austerity cuts, which, let's be honest, have not worked at all, No, poverty has increased. Well, that's now, why you've got your food country. banks. I've been arguing with a guy today about the Royal Yacht and food banks, and of course he again doesn't understand that these uh -huh. are totally separate budgets. Whether we have a Royal Yacht or not, they'll still have the yeah. food banks. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, to me, as I said <coughs> there, it's 56 pence out of tax out, out the whole year, which is less than a bag of crisps. Absolutely. Which is nothing at all. And I, as we spoke before regarding this in terms of the amount of money that brought in by tourism, and I think if Scotland does vote yes, the royal family will play a massive key role for tourists to visit. Oh yes. And to, I mean, we could. I, I think that I've said before as well. They can make extra houses a residence. Look at is it Linlithgow? Is yes, Linlithgow. I would. I would yeah, say to. Be. I would say to Boris Johnson, reparation of damages. Get that rebuilt before independence. And there's just so much opportunity. And I think we spoke as well, Scott, before that the, the ports that used to be, I think, if Scotland was independent, to, to open these ports again, to yes. open a gateway to the rest of the world. Yes. Scotland would flourish. But oh, absolutely. People just do not believe that. Or I think it's a bit too much. I'm all right, Jack, until financially they've hit themselves. Absolutely. Uh, until it affects them, until it affects them in the pocket, Kareem. You know, yeah. that's it. Once the bottom line starts biting, they then start to understand what it's all about. Absolutely. And it's not fair. I think it's, it's selfish. It really is. And it's not fair for the children that are going hungry uh, or being affected by this as well. Well, it's, clearly it's at the it. moment, we are not better together. So to have a movement called Better Together is a fail. Yes. So something's going to have to be done about that. I don't want to go into too much, but again, as you know, what people are like on Facebook, 
they're, they're talking about obviously the daily coronavirus uh, people that are testing positive for it is is the highest that it's ever been. But what I'm seeing on social media is a lot of people are actually not caring, and the only time they seem to care is if they catch it or if it affects their family. And again, I, I find that quite selfish. Well, again, they're not thinking. You see, I think governments need to take a firm hand because we saw at Brexit that the people don't actually know what they are doing and they don't actually know what they're talking about. And that's why the phone-in is so important because we can hear points of view and if I think these people are needing a correction, then I can do it. Absolutely. No, um... Yes, and you've been doing that for many years as well, Scotty. Absolutely, absolutely, and we shall hopefully do it for a few more. Uh, a, a, a good few more, Scotty. Look forward to them all. Lovely like, to I'm hear you, Kareem. And as we say in the best of circles, dinky do, sir. Yes, speak to you soon, Scotty. All Bye. the best. Thanks, Kareem. <laughs> there we are. That's our Kareem. What a great guy. Amazing stuff. Now, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello. Yes. Uh, I want to know if you want to invest in a horse. Well, I'm going to call it Dinky Do. Dinky Do. I think that's a gorgeous thing. I don't know about investing, but thank you for that. That is absolutely amazing. Now, lots of people talking here. Kevin says, hi, Scotty. What's on the agenda tonight? Says Jordan. Well, we're just talking about does better together actually mean better together? There we are. Alistair King, good evening, Kareem. How are you, mate? The monarchy is fine. No problems keeping it post indie says Robert. What I might call you about, Scott, is the Queen's consent. We might need to re-evaluate it. Well, I doubt we can do, but I'd be very interested in hearing your point of view on it, Robert. I have to say, hi, Alistair, says the wonderful Kareem. These guys are talking away to each other. That is amazing. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. The first lot of the internet, hashtag float I. And we are live on the phone in across YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch as we speak, with more to come in the pipeline. We decided not to go live on TikTok tonight because I think it's a bit much for the old TikTokers. But lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, we might join them later. Who knows? But I think we want to build up this. We're in something like our third night of it. We did a technical rehearsal the first night. So then another technical rehearsal. So maybe we could even say we're in the second night of actually trying out the phone in. You're live on, Scotty. Who's that? Hello, it's Archie from last night. Archie from last night. What a lovely place to stay last night. They were great, but yes, absolutely. Very interesting. Now, Archie, you're a man of the borders. Right. Yes, the soft, lowland tongue of the borders. Now, yeah. what are you thinking? I mean, what are you thinking about all this better together? Because England must be only within shouting distance of you. Yes, uh, maybe 15, 20 miles down the road. Is that right? I'm not, I'm not the most political man ever. No, uh, neither am I. No, I'm, I don't attempt to avoid it when possible. Right. I would prefer not to go independent. You, yes, right. So um, you're, you're quite happy with the way things are going, really? I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the way things are. Absolutely, Scotty. Fine. Um, no, that's great, Archie. Listen, I'll not draw you on it. If it's not your thing, you don't need to be drawn on it. I'm, I'm more of a I'm more of a UFO sighting man than Paul. Ah, have you ever seen a uh, UFO? I, I like a bit of conspiracies, yeah. Yes. You? Have you ever seen one, Archie? I think I have. Out by the Carter Bar one night. Right, what did it look like? What was that UFO? Just a wee light in the sky. I, I just pretend it is. I don't care if it was. You don't think you might have seen maybe... You, you don't think you might have seen a satellite, just a, a bit of junk floating Probably. around in space? Probably, but I, I think they will exist over by, I don't, I don't know, but over somewhere aliens will be. Now, do you think there is another life form that we're not all familiar with? There has to be. There's, there's no way with only life forms. 
Uh, do you think that maybe some governments know about this but don't want it out there? There's far too much of this hidden information. They know absolutely no things. Right. Now, why, why, would, why would they want to hide it? Is it not like a major news story if we've discovered some aliens? I think that there's a lot more than just aliens that they hide from us. Excellent. Well, very interesting. You're into your conspiracy theories. Archie, okay. I'm going to press on and see what everybody's got to say about this. Perfect. Have a good night, buddy. Bless you and dinky do la. What a top man. There we are. Archie from Jedbra in the Scottish borders. We love it. Hi, mates. Hi, Alistair King. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, what's your views on euthanasia? Well, having had to euthanize pets and having had a grandmother who suffered terribly with a terminal illness lasting over two years and uh, lost most of her body weight. I think to myself, in euthanasia, the animal is away in something like 15, 20 seconds. And these poor souls, human beings, could suffer dreadful discomfort and pain for years. But it would need to be very carefully managed and regulated. That's what I would say. Scotty, the Pentagon admitted a couple of months ago UFAOs and UAPs exist, but they don't know what they are. I think they should have it depending on the situation and the patient. Right, Karim? Very, very interesting. If somebody wants to make a call on that, if you've just joined us, it's Scotty McClue here. We are, of course, live on the internet, big style, right across YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. If you aren't following Scotty McClure on Facebook, get yourselves on uh, facebook.com forward slash Scotty dot McClue dot nine. Oh, Twitch. Woo. It's warm in here tonight. Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Get yourselves on there, I say. Right, we've got the chat, guys. Get chatting. Do you believe in aliens, Scotty? Well, what I am doing as Dan's is finding out what the people think, and then I shall stick my tuppence worth in there. So do tell us what you think first. I think that's important. Guys, how do we share this? Let me see. How do we actually share this stream as we speak? That would be good. Now, there we go there. I would love to see that. I don't know if I should switch over in case I lose you all. We don't want that. There's too many planets and solar systems out there for us to be the only form of life. Goodwin David, excellent stuff. Evening, Scotty, a wee terrible question for you. How many Scottish TV announcers can you name? Ten required from the beginning of STV in Cook Cadence. <clears throat> so you want ten announcers. Right. Here we go. Um... Michael O'Halloran, one. Gordon Roddick, two. Alec Monteith, three. Bob Christie, four. James O'Hara, five. Jimmy Spanky, six. Kennedy Thompson, seven. Uh, Jim Simon, eight. June Imri, 9. Colin Lamont, 10. There's 10 Scottish announcers for you right away, just for starters. Oh, my goodness me. I was in Glasgow Central today, Scotty, enjoying the mood, the weather, the shame. I've gone back to work even with my injuries. I know what you mean, Alistair, but you get strong and well. And be very careful what you lift, chum. Be very careful. No pushing motors anything like that. You can't because it's so important for you. It's so important for Junior and for the rest of the family. So steady, steady the buffs, I say. Uh, there we are. You're live on Scotty. Who's that? How are we doing, Scotty? Who have we got here? Can I tell you a joke? Is that a first name? Yes. Can I tell you a joke? What's your first name? Pedro. Pedro. Is that a clean joke? Yes, it's very clean. No sphered words. Is that appropriate? Yes, very appropriate. Go on. What's red, white, and 
green and goes 500 miles an hour. I don't know. Perry Monroe and a blender. Didn't find that funny at all. So there we are. There we are. Sorry about that, folks. Shocking stuff. Now then, uh, want to become famous? So there we are. No, we're not. We'll bother about that. So we'll just get rid of that. Hang on. And we'll just block that one. Thank you. And uh, I think we should block the last guy as well. Apologies for that very, very unfunny thing. Uh, my opinion, Kareem. So there you are. Yes, Dave. Uh, who have we got here? Uh, users have an option, oh yes, you can browse or you can choose to share your video stream. So there we are. Right, excellent. If everybody watching would care to share, that would be tremendous. Now then, what have we got? Good of you to mention me, says the wonderful Gordon Roddick, one of the announcing greats. Tremendous. Lovely to hear from you, Gordon. So glad you're with us tonight. And again, a very big thank you for your thoughtfulness and your kindness, not just even now, but over many, many years. I was just thinking, Gordon, it must be 35 years since you and I first worked together. Amazing. And here we are working together tonight. We love it. Uh, so there we are. I don't understand the joke. Wasn't a joke, Kareem, wasn't even remotely funny, just a dafty trying to be daft. And we've got no time for that level of nonsense on here. Uh, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on the internet, YouTube, Facebook, and of course, Twitch. Scotty underscore McClue. If you're a Twitch person, a Twitcher there, get on to Scotty McClue. Dinky do. Kareem has just sent me a pound. Kareem, you're a very kind man. I thank you. Dinky do. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Nobody. <laughs> An alien tried to get through to say, we do exist. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, these daughters don't know who they're speaking to. Ridiculous. Indeed, Adas, Adas. His prank call failed miserably. Very, very miserable failure, Dave. I'm Archie, by the way. I need to change my YouTube name. Yes, you do. We need to hear more from you. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? That's me, Scotty. Who's me? Alistair. Alistair. How lovely uh, to hear you. That was me that tried to phone you there. I had the wrong button. All right, that's okay. We don't mind. We thought you were an alien from, a, from another uh, planet. But you're only free fife. <laughs> now, I want to know how you are, chum. Guys, to put you in the picture, as far as I understand it, a couple of weeks ago, Alistair had a very, very bad fall and ended up in the hospital with a fractured spine. Is that right? Aye. That was my own fault. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't matter whose fault it was. The fact is, it shouldn't have happened to you. Oh, no, know, but it did. And yes. Yes. So did you just come down on a rock and skate? I had six muscle alone at the time and down I went. <laughs> no, no, no. You need to be very careful. And was the wee was the wee one with you? No, I had my friend with me, but he's disabled, so he couldn't have come down and help. Oh, for <laughs> goodness sake, Alistair. Oh, now, no. how, what sort of progress are we making? Because you seem to be making amazing progress. Oh, I'm back on my feet. As soon as I go back on my feet, I went back to work. Alistair, that's very fortunate. Oh, I. You know, because, I mean, obviously, you know yourself, you could have severed something, you know? Oh, I know. I'm stuck with a back, back brace. I've got a fractured coccyx at the base of my spine. Right. You're re where your tail used to be when we were all monkeys. Aye, just somebody cut it off. Aye. <laughs> now, my father used to tell me that, but anyway, now, uh, so there you go. Imagine breaking your spine. Hang on, there's a guy here. Hold on, Alistair. There's a guy here thinks this is funny, so I'm just going to bin him off. Right. right. There's always one. <laughs> yes. There we are. He's gone. So there we are. I'm not having that. Um, what I was thinking, Alistair, no pushing motors at all. Even if somebody says, could you help? Give us a push. You go, no, I can't. Oh, no. All the cars I get are driving. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Wonderful. Right. Maybe someday you'll still help me to start one. 
<laughs> Wonderful, but you need to be strong and well. Oh, no, there's always something gets in the way. And, rem and remember, you'll have had a fright, Alistair, as well. Oh, aye. I'll you know? I'll that again in hurry. No, <laughs> no. And you've just got to be careful. You see, I think when you work as hard as you, leisure time is, is very precious. So oh. you might just cut a wee corner and say, you know, we'll just, I'll be fine in my trainer sort of thing, you know. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But um, please try and not work too hard. And as I say, no heavy lifting. Even are you able to pull the big straps? They're pretty easy anyway. Are they all right? Is that the ones you kind of ratchet them up? Aye. Aye. Love it. Aye, they're no bad. Love it, Alistair. That's great. Well, it's a joy to hear from you. And everybody on here, apart from the odd half wit, is sending you love and strength. Hey, hey, and dinky do. I think you do. It was nice to talk to you. Lovely talking to you, Ken. Right. <laughs> dinky do, la. Dinky do. Bye. What a top man. That's Alistair. Alistair is an incredible uh, mechanic. He's right into cars and with a wee cars program, which we might not be doing now because there's so much happening on the internet here. Do come and join us. Spread the word. If you're watching right now, share everything. Say, I'm watching Scotty McClue, either on Twitch, YouTube, or, of course, the wonderful Facebook. Get yourselves on there. What time did you start, Scotty, says Professor Numpty Heat? Uh, 14 minutes past 10, Numpty Heat. So we be early tonight. 14 minutes past 10. Scotty, there's some really weird people on social media. There are Kareem. Yes, I mean, these kind of half-witted idiots that don't understand about other human beings. Are the rules about a second ring in one evening? No, no, not at all, Archie. I've just arrived. I'll need to watch it later from the start. You will not to eat, but remember, you're a busy man. You are an executive. You uh, obviously have made some big money, and you bailed Scotty McClue out the other night with a very, very heavy, serious donation on GoFundMe.com. Yes, I did, forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's me again. Oh, hello, me again. Yes, we haven't actually made up the rules yet, Archie, but it's always good to hear from you. Have you ever had a, I suppose, a paranormal experience or an alien experience? Uh, yes. Yes, no. I certainly have. And I'm not a doubting Thomas, but a little bit skeptical of it all. Right. And okay. Right, a little bit skeptical of it all until I found uh, one night I was working in Yorkshire in my house. And it was a modern house. And yeah. um, uh, my attention was drawn to the center of the room. And I looked over and everything went very cold. This is absolutely 100% gospel truth. And I looked at the center of the room and I said, who are you and what can I do for you? And it immediately relaxed. Now, here's another bit. I'm not, I'm not finished. In that same room, one night I was playing one of my favorite Kenneth McKellar CDs. Right. And he was singing sacred songs, hymns. And he was singing, and he sings it very beautifully, recorded in Paisley Abbey with George McPhee, the organist at the organ. They stopped the traffic to record it, seven o'clock in the morning. And Kenneth said to George, you've got an hour meaning that's when he would be what we call in the singing trade, sung out, right? Yeah. So, uh, Kenneth was singing, do no sinful action, speak no angry word, ye belong to Jesus, children of the Lord, right? And I got this vice-like grip round the back of my neck, vice-like, oh get that off. So whether there was guilt about, you know, do no sinful action, speak no angry word, but it was get that off. I put it off. I have played the CD in my present house. Not a problem. So 
something was then one morning i'm not really given to tears a couple of things might move me but um i woke up in floods of tears in that room oh. so there was something not right now i don't think it was the house it might have been the area it might have been the ground You know, and that's a hundred percent gospel truth. Three things the presence in the room, the vice like grip round the neck, and the tears on waking up. No, it's things like things like that make me believe in the spiritual, paranormal, unknown even more. Well, I I I, I absolutely would swear to God that that happened. You know, and I don't tell lies. Are you familiar with the American broadcaster Art Bell? Yes. He had a show about paranormal. Yeah. Okay, to that called Coast to Coast, and there was a man that told a story about a hole in his garden, and it the story branched off, and it whether it's real or not, I don't know, but it got very interesting, and that was when I heard that story, that made me think actually, you know. Until then, I was skeptical, and then when I started to research the unknown as a whole. Uh, I started to believe in even more, and by now, I completely would say I'm not skeptical at all. Mm. Whereas before, I'd heard that program, I was just like any other bloke. I didn't really yeah. think much of it, but now, like, I completely believe in spirits. Alien, all that. Well, I, I mean, I think when we die, when our bodies wear out, we live on. Because all that knowledge and experience, I was just thinking this today, all these things I've learned, all these people I've talked to, hundreds of thousands of people over the years, yeah. you know, all that must be for something. I don't want my knowledge to die when I do. I want it to live on across the internet. I want people to be doing phone ins, to be talking, to, you know, anything at all. Yeah, I like Jim and I'm really glad this internet thing is working as well as it is. Well, we're what? Let's just say we're, this is our second night, because the first two nights were really technical rehearsals. So let's say this is our second phone in. Now, I noticed a big change in subscribers today to the YouTube channel, because up until now, Scotty McClough's YouTube channel has been the world's best kept secret. Okay. There's 1,600 videos on there. And uh, today I noticed there was a bit of a scramble for people subscribing and tapping the bell for the notifications. Now, that's after two nights. Or even one night. I know. I can't wait to see what the future holds. You know, and I think this will go very, very big. And I think that telephone number will be one of the best known numbers in the world. I think it'll be one. Oh, I think it'll be one of the busiest numbers, and that's a good thing. Because I really believe people need to be talking. Absolutely, and it's good. You know, admittedly, I think we can all agree. Compared to 15, 20 years ago, radio isn't used as much, and I'm so glad that it's your call ins are coming to the internet now. Yeah, absolutely. And what I was going to say to you, surely there must be ghostly presences in a town like Jedburgh. Oh, the Castle Jail. I've never heard of the Castle Jail. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. The, there was a team went there for a film, a TV show, and they, yes. they had to turn back. Oh. Oh, yeah. And I, and I would think all the border towns, and I would think, because, I mean, you know, right into the country there, and I would also think places like the, the, the Abbey. Oh, yeah, and same with, you know, Melrose Abbey with the Heartbury, all the abbeys, I'm sure. Yes, absolutely. Heartbury. Fantastic, yeah. because I'll tell you something. I believe in astrology, and I believe in the planets, I believe in the power of the moon and the sun. And yes, no, I, I would look into all of that. Stonehenge, the ancients, the druids, the whole thing. There's so much out there. Yeah. 
you know, and, and I would think, I remember a lady that ran a village pub in an old Scottish village and said at a full moon, there were some very strange people who came into the pub that you didn't see at any other time in the month. What about that? Archie, I'm going to dash. There's so many people trying to get through. Dinky doola. I'll speak to you tomorrow night. Have a great, great night, buddy. You too, bud. Tarala. There we are, Archie. From the Borders House. Comments. Now, uh, thank you, everyone. I appreciate the concerns, says Alistair. I've just arrived. I need to watch this, says Numpty. Unfortunately, Scottish social media is full of numpties. That if their brains were made of chocolate, the kidney fill us smarty. We love it, David. That cold feeling, says Mega, uh, Mega Chelsea, <clears throat> that cold feeling is a classic sign of a spiritual presence. Scotty, I've had that many times during paranormal experiences. It's an icy coldness like nothing else you will experience. Mega Chelsea, 100% correct. To the telephones, folks, as soon as you can. 0141628-9795. Scotty McClure is here for you. Saying dinky do. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? How are we doing? Okay. How are we doing? Who's that? It's Pedro again. Pedro, yes. Squeeze box. Pedro. We, the squeeze box, please. The squeeze box. We'll have a look at it, Pedro. We weren't too chuffed with the joke, though. I can tell you that. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. Uh, well done, says Jerry Nichol. Yes. Tony Curry, Nicky Doherty, Steve Hamilton, Dave Marshall, Pauline Muirhead, Bill Tennant, Mr. STV, Paul Coyer. You beat me. Not at all, Jerry. He only wanted 10. I could have probably given him 30 right off the top of my head. Great conversation. Glad you're a believer too, mate. Absolutely. Some people shut down immediately when spirituals are mentioned. No, um, I um, am not into turning this into some sort of spiritual experience. I'm just, well, Maybe it's a spiritual experience anyway, having Scotty McClue live on the internet. But I don't think we should refrain from talking about a particular subject when it's of interest to a lot of people. But there we go. But we'll vary the phone in. Scotty, what former version of God do you believe in? I believe in a, a superior being to mankind. I would be very worried if I thought that Boris Johnson or even Nicholas Sturgeon or Tony Blair or Edward Heath or whatever was actually um, the most, the top person in the world. You see what I mean? So I believe in um, a, a, a superior being to mankind. And I believe that that being is good. And I believe that good will always triumph over evil. So there we are. Fantastic. So that's what it's all about. And um, I didn't mean it in that way. I mean more the unknown and the paranormal. Has Mrs. McClure made me a tray of tablet yet, Scotty? Alistair, you can have as much tablet as you like. If that old girl can fire up. Oh, oh Alistair, open the window. Fantastic. Uh, so there we go. I don't mean Mrs. McClure. I mean the old motor. Right, to your telephones as quickly as possible. And can you all get sharing? If you're, you're able to share more than me, so please share, share, share it, share, and let us know what is happening. There we go. We love it. Now, um, also, I can take your calls and your comments. You're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's Dave Bray. Lovely to hear from you. How are you? I am top of the world. Lovely to hear from you, mate. I, I want to. I want to talk about the. Well, actually, I want to carry on the conversation about the. Um, well, the popular esoteric subject of the UFOs. Is that all right? Yes. Well, of course it is. Actually, we don't want to become like the UFO channel, but it's always very interesting because, really, to be honest, and I've been a skeptic myself. I had a, a boy on one night on the phone in. He was a Scotsman. He'd had a light refreshment, and he was trying to convince me that um, the UFO had flown over. Now, what? where was it? I'm trying to think. Somewhere like Kilburnie. And I said, what was it like? 
and he said it was a blue light on the Kilburnie Road. And I said to him, I think that would be the polis. Yeah, it could be many things. Like, like, like uh, I think 99% of them are explained by stars, there are satellites, all kinds of things, lighthouses. But yeah, I had experience once. I'll, I'll come to it in a minute. But what I, basically, uh, if these aliens and UFOs are real, uh, you know, in, in my opinion, in fact, they're probably us from the future because it makes sense because they're probably observing us for, I don't know, whatever reasons. I don't really know what their reasons are, but for reasons that we couldn't even probably comprehend. But uh, disaster films show that, you know, aliens are a threat. But I think they're not really. I don't think they're hostile if they were hostile. And um, people say they've been around for tens of thousands of years. Well, obviously, they are they're more advanced than us. Why don't they show the hostility? They're not. So, well, let's hmm. let's take one thing at a time there, right? And, and and break this down so that people listening think, well, I, I don't believe that, but I might believe that, etc., etc. So, if we said that we've been around for thousands of years, yes, yeah. um, or 2,000 years if you're a creationist, or, you know, I mean... Several thousand years if you're a creationist, depending if you're Old Testament or New Testament. Exactly. Now, let's say 7,000 years. Let's say we've been around for 7,000 years. What makes us think that we're the only life form? Because before us, you had the dinosaurs and the woolly mammoth and all of these, the pterodactyl, the lot. That's it. So we've, we've had all these life forms about now. One of the problems that mankind has had is that they're essentially tribal. Yes, the children of Israel, the Israelites. Yes, a yeah. woman of Samaria, Samaria, the Samarians, the Samaritans. Yes, so yeah. you go back and you've got all these tribes. Then the tribes and the peoples of the desert of the east, so much the tribes of Australia and New Zealand. Now, when you're tribal, I think there's a, a case that you treat everyone else who's not of your tribe as your enemy. Right, yeah. You see? Uh, where so, did that come from, Scotty, I wonder? Well, let's look at King um, St. George, who's made up all the other patron saints, St. Patrick with his snakes, St. Andrew, the patron saint of Scotland, St. David of Wales. Yes, yep. they were all real people. So poor old England had to make up St. George. Now, St. George had to slay the dragon. Why didn't he pat the dragon until the fire went down to just a wee puff of smoke? Very true, Scotty. And the dragon knelt down and they said, oh, yes, everybody knew St. George with his pet dragon. know the story yeah it's a good story it's a good story but another thing is scotty um i think just to you know come back onto the uh well just just to finish that sorry to interrupt but just to finish that can you then imagine if instead of going to war with another tribe you 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 love them you bring them on board you say we're just going round to to hug the halawis you know are you talking about like primitive tribes? Because there's still like primitive tribes out there, isn't yes. there? Like uh, all, all around the world, which is. Uh, well, well, we're now getting to the stage of when you look at some of us in the West, you wonder who is the primitive race. Mm -hmm. You know? That's a very good point. We may have the technology, but um, other races in the world which don't have the technologies and don't have like a god who doesn't, doesn't even know anything about the bible and we that don't we don't know what other technologies are out there we don't know who runs the airwaves we yeah. know it's not us but we don't know who runs them yeah it, uh, well yeah it could be uh, uh you see things. it could, be, it could be a friendly a friendly people have said we will let the humans use the airwaves because we love scotty mcclue's phone in Honestly, um, keep it going, Sky. It's been great talking to you. Nice one. 
Always lovely talking to you, and we'll explore more as time goes on. We shall. Nice one. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, do, la. Lovely talking to you. There we go. Guys, if you want to come on and discuss, it's very interesting. The universe is teeming with life. I believe God is a form of energy, not a being to talk to. Good one, Kareem. Do you believe in a guardian angel watching out for you? Well, Jerry, in my life so far, I've only met one bad man. Now, that's pretty good. So somebody, someone has got my back. Yeah, they maybe had a day off when I met the bad man. Anyway, that's that. And just somebody I trusted when I should never have. Anyway, not to worry about that. Lovely to hear from you, Jerry. Feel free to call us and discuss all these things. We're talking about so much tonight and so little time to do it in. Um, I heard tonight that the Taliban are blocking a, a gentleman who is bringing animals out of Afghanistan to save them. That sounds pretty bad news, doesn't it? There's Anthony has joined us. Good evening, Anthony. Do you know, don't panic, but I was thinking about you the other day, thinking I hadn't heard from you for a while, and I knew you were poorly because Mrs. Mac let us know. So we send you love and blessings. Thank you, do. Welcome, I'm going to say. I'll put um, welcome here. Welcome all. <laughs> There you go. Welcome all. That should be coming up. Right. I've just missed that call there. If you want to give us another call, we'll get that. I was busy typing at the time. Dinky Doo says, Eddie. Eddie, lovely to have you with us. David's just joined us. My mother has tested positive for COVID today. There's a lot of underlying health issues. Can you please keep her in your prayers? We can, David. We will do our best. Can we all please pray for David's mum, guys? Yes, she's tested positive for COVID. Although, David, with the vaccine and everything, it's not the end of the world as far as we know it, hopefully. David hopes she's well and stays strong during this dark time. Pen Farthing is the man coming out of Kabul with the animals. Last I heard, he was being supported through airport security. Hope he gets home. Mega Chelsea, that is wonderful news. Thank you for that. You are correct. Thanks, Scotty. Feeling much better. And great to hear you. Good one, Tony. Uh, we're live. If you all want to follow me on YouTube, subscribe. If you want to follow me on Facebook, because I think we've probably reached our limit for friends. And also, if you want to follow us on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Everybody keeps sharing and sharing to let people know we're here. Much appreciated, Kareem. Thank you very much for that. And thank you. I can't believe I've been up for 48 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Where does the time go? Guys, uh, can all of you make sure you subscribe and tap the bell on YouTube? Um, I noticed today there was a massive upsurge. Because up until now, Scotty McClure's YouTube channel has been the world's best kept secret for subscribers. But do get on there because I can promise you one thing. This phone in will be massive. Nobody else is doing it. Nobody else can do it. Even when we're doing the big phone ins on radio, and I may be going back on the radio sooner rather than later, we're doing the big phone ins. There was only about half a dozen of us on the planet who did it properly. So there we go. Now then, you need to get the lovable lassie of retirement, Scotty. Uh, you're a terrible receptionist. I'm a brilliant receptionist. Was that you? Well, why don't you ring again, numpty hood, and stop cheeking up? Scotty, did you see the news? What was getting said about Trump and Biden? I haven't seen it yet. Scotty, will you be live this weekend? I think we should, Kareem. Just keep it going for now till we see what we're dealing with here. This is a brand new creature, and it's very, very exciting. And it's on the internet, of course. So, uh, you know, it's bang up to date, and it's COVID proof. So you can watch Scotty McClue, and uh, you will be safe in your house. <laughs> Fantastic. Do join us. A very, very warm welcome. Cars tomorrow, Scotty. Alistair, I think we might leave the cars in favor of the phone-in. What do you think? We missed you because you were 
hors de combat. You see, and we missed you on cars. Uh, so there we go. Scotty, we need you back on the radio. Radio for an independent Scotland. You could be the commissioner for Indie Scotland TV. Do you know Robert Scrimger? There was serious talk in 2014 of Scotty McClure being appointed the broadcasting czar for Scotland. There you have it. So you're not too far off the mark there. Yes, indeedy. And uh, that would have been me running television and radio in Scotland. That would be interesting, wouldn't it, for you all? <laughs> Fantastic. We'll see who this is. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, how we doing, Scotty? Who's that, sir? Donald. Donald. How are we getting on? I just want to know, an independent Scotland. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, if I told you that now, then the TV companies would be very cross with me. I can't give you the score for a game coming up, even although I might know it. Uh, what do you think the score would be on Sunday then? Oh, I can't tell you that either. That's classified. There we go. And uh, I'm not giving out the lottery numbers either. Do you think people are too hard on Biden? I think he showed real emotion. He lost a son who served. Yes, he did. But uh, we are talking the President of the United States here, Tony. Yes. Uh, said a prayer for your mum, David. I really hope and trust she'll recover. Says William. Thank you very much, William. Very much appreciated. Scotty McClue, just for you, dinky-doo. Get to the telephones. The number is on the bottom there. 0141 6289795. Get that number down. Fast becoming the best known telephone number on the internet. 0141 6289795. A Glasgow number. Who have we got here? 100% uh, phone in tomorrow, please, Scotty. It's gathering great momentum. It seems to be very popular, David. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, Professor Numpty Heed, Scotty. Numpty Heed, what on earth were you playing at? Where were you? I was trying to answer your call. Uh, that was not me, Scotty. That was not me trying to phone you. So have you not phoned at all tonight? No, this is my first time. Right, okay. Well, let's have it. You'd better spill then, Boyo. Why do you think I'm a bad receptionist? Because you're too, you're, you can't type fast enough. All ah, right. Well, can I tell you, the lovable lassie was one of the top typists in Scotland. Well, Scotty, the, the lovable lassie could have had your messages typed and the phone call answered at the same time. Ken, Ken, numpty head. So what, what is your point, caller? Oh, well, listen, I've got a couple of points to make, Scotty. Aye, but what is your point about me and reception? It's, it's no great secret that I'm not as fast a typist as the lovable lassie. Why do you bother typing if you can't do it? Well, I mean, why do you bother getting up in the morning if you can't be bothered? Uh, because my alarm clock's set for 12 in the afternoon. Ken, so there you are. So that's why you're up. and uh, right. but, but you don't go to bed till about four. That's right, Scotty. So we'll let you off. And you were immensely generous to this phone-in. Yes, we know that. We know that. But listen, immensely. No, I'm uh, talking immensely. I need to tell you something. Go on then, spill. You were talk talking to Archie and Jedbra, Scotty. Ken. You mentioned the Jedbra jail. Yes, he did. Oh, I've been in the Jedbra jail, Scotty. For a night? I went through the night. It was one of these ghost hunts. Oh, it was a ghost hunt. I see. I wondered if they'd put you in the slammerer for having too much brune ale. Well, I was in my cell. You are in your cell. I see what you just did there. Ah. And when it got cold, they put in another bar. They put in another bar when it got cold and ruined the ghosts. Absolutely. Can I tell you something, Scotty? There's quite a lot of tours, Numpty Heat. Well, you'll know all about them in Edinburgh, up the closest. Uh, can, what you're talking about, I? Ken, you know the ghost tours. Frightening uh, the life out of folk. Ah, uh, I've seen the wee tunnels, Mary King's Close, 
Mary Kings, I was just going to say, Mary Kings close. And of course, as you remember, I was very friendly with um, Adam Lyle, deceased. You were friendly with me? Adam Lyle, deceased. Look it up. And when did he pass away, Scotty? How many oh. years ago? <coughs> Hundreds of years. That, you made me swallow my water the wrong way. I was water. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Kunsel juice. Right, so so spill, so tell me Mayor. All right. Now, you, <coughs> you, you Ken. That you've been watching the news channels for the last fifty years. Ken. And and all the news channels you've watched a lot. So does that mean for the last fifty years your heat's been getting fully minted? Propagandament. Well, I mean, I have, uh, as you know, a very high IQ. Aye. And uh, nothing to do, not my, that's just the way it is. That's life. I have a high IQ. See, <coughs> what worries me is uh, you've been following the women. So, so I'm able to differentiate and I'm able to lift the truth from news channels and then tell it to you guys. Well, no, I watch them. I watch several sources. You see, a good journalist will get his information from several sources, right? He's been doing it for the last 50 years. So, if, for instance, you think I need a story about what's going on at high level in the army, you don't just get some drunken squaddy to tell you what's going on. Aye. Aye. Ken. So what you would do is you would talk to the generals and the drunken squaddy. Absolutely. <laughs> now you can. One, one thing before I go, Scotty. It's right. Now, I remember a while back you said on the, on the wireless about these people that cheek up to the polis. Yes. With their mobile phones. Yes. F filming the polis and cheeking up to them. Now, the people that are doing the cheeking up, they seem to know the right and like what they can do in public. Well, you see, the problem is in days gone by, particularly in Edinburgh and Glasgow, they just have birched them, that have taken them up a close and given them a thrashing. Aye, but they didn't have mobile phones back then. No, they? and they were only getting filmed and all that stuff, and you wouldn't have dreamt of them going, I want your number. <laughs> I'm, sure you, I'm sure my number's come up in your telephone. They would have said, Sonny, uh, if you if you don't stop chicken up, you'll be getting a size nine. Aye, but they're getting arrested for, for and putting the cells for six sewers just for filming in public, Scotty. Well, I know that's an interesting one. We need to work out what the actual thing is with the law and make it nice and clear. <clears throat> well, somebody needs to have a look with the policeman's bosses. Yes. Well, maybe we can have a chat on here. Maybe some of the policemen will phone us and we'll, we, you know, they could just use a first name. doesn't even have to be the rain. And we can get some info on it. Well, they can, they can remain anonymous and just be their caller number instead. Aye, aye, that's what it's all about. Right, Numpty Heed, I'm going to press on because we're mobbed out the door. We're stowed out and stop it full. And that's your fault for being so generous. <laughs> Lots of love to you, my boy. Dink, dink you do. Dink you do. What a top man. My goodness me. Uh, right, Scotty, I think you might need a wee cup of tea. I think I might. Aaron says, good evening. Scotty, good evening, everybody. That sounds lovely, Kareem. Milk, no sugar for me, says David. What's your views on homosexuality having children? Says PS5. Let's find out what's going on here. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Jerry. Jerry! How lovely to hear Hi. from you. How's the show going tonight, Jerry? Well, everything is going really well. You're on vision, brilliant, and coming across nice and loud. Nice and loud. And did you nice. were you able to check the other streams as well? Well, because I've been busy, I haven't. Thing is, um, uh, you think we'd have heard by now? Sorry? 
You think we'd have heard by now? Aye. Going back, I was going to ask a question there. Aye, go on, uh, sorry. Oh, there's loads of questions. But are you ever down in the dumps? Me? Yeah. Uh, only once when the very bad man okay. took the money off me. Okay. Uh, but, and I don't want to bore everybody with that, but uh, that's the only time I would say I've ever been down the dumps. I personally don't have a right to be down in the dumps because there's so many people worse off than me. Yeah. You know, so I don't think, I mean, I, I know everybody has a right to be fed up, but I personally don't think I have that right. And I think that I have been put on the earth to talk to others. Good, good. And it's as simple good. as that. And there's nothing right. swank or trumpet blowing about that. I just think that's my raison d'etre. Right. Well, you're obviously an interesting guy. You're always uh, a good, good answer. Next question is, did you ever think of being the minister or being involved in the church? A church minister, do you know, you'll not believe this, but at the age of 19, I had an interview with the principal of New College in Edinburgh to look at doing a Bachelor of Divinity degree. Yeah. And but, about a year ago, a guy said to me, he said, I do wish you'd consider becoming a minister of the Kirk. Uh, about a year ago. Really? Yes. Aye. So, you come across, because the voice and the way you portray yourself, you could, you know, everybody would be in the hall, church, whatever, and just be focused on you. That would be, you stand out. Well, it's very interesting because uh, when I was brought up, I met a lot of ministers, and uh, a lot of them were outstanding preachers. I could I could name the lot of them right across Scotland, and no. uh, and still know them all. Yes, and um, and a lot of the moderators were friends as well, mm. and uh, I can uh, I I really I mean I have done services I have spoken at services from the pulpit. Um, uh, well, that's, that does come across. So I've heard you mention the the, the, the past. Uh, being involved in the church. I'm dad, thinking about yeah. people like Jimmy Curry was a personal friend. Yeah, he was, he was on late call, is that right? Yes, he did. Uh, Jimmy did well, Jimmy was in everything. He was a, he was a great guy. He was, uh, his, his family were farmers in Arran at Drummadoon right. Farm. And Jimmy was the minister of St. James's Pollock for years. And he was also the chaplain to Crookston Castle School. And a guy phoned me one day on the L107 Lanarkshire phone in and said that he was at school when Mr. Curry was the chaplain. He said, if Mr. Curry was speaking at assembly, you couldn't get a seat in the hall. <laughs> well, that's probably what and I would only want to be a minister or a priest or whatever if I knew that outside my church on a Sunday morning, you couldn't get part and you could barely get a seat. Did you ever come across the moderator that lived in Castle Milk? Do you remember that, Ellie? Yes, do I do. That? Yes, I do. I just can't remember his name. But I mean, I can go right back to people like Dr. Archie Craig, Leonard Small, you know. David Tennant's father was the moderator. That's exactly. That's the one I was going to mention there. He was a great guy. He was uh, Sandy, uh, Sandy that's MacDonald. That's right. He's passed away now. Has he? Aye, uh, he passed away a number of years ago. Ah, Sandy. Uh, he, he was a lovely, lovely man. He was around. He did a late call when Diana died. Right. And he that's said right. that what he was concerned about was two little boys that had lost their mum. And that was something, that kind of message touches everyone. Right. And also, you did a, you did a, a, a amateur dramatics, didn't you? Yes. Aye. And professional dramatics. Oh, was that? Yes, I attended the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama. <laughs> oh, that comes across really <laughs> cool, <doesn't it? laughs> 
<laughs> but Shakespeare's right. still quite good, apparently. Aye, right. So you've, you've done the dramatics and the uh, other Paul and um, obviously, what was that else? It's an excellent program tonight, Jerry, and it's lovely to have you on. And uh, well, as I say, this is effectively night two. Oh, that's what I say. I've listened back to my conversation from the other night. It was pretty quite good. Do you know that the lovely Archie's just sent me three pounds fifty? Oh, is it uh, three pounds? Oh, God. Three. Oh, Three pounds fifty. No, no. Nobody is ever obliged to get their wallet out for Scotty McLean because I've always taken a applause or derision on my merits, and that is the way to keep a high quality phone in going. To say, listen, Scotty, if you're no good, they'll no listen. Brilliant. And uh, I heard you saying to Ken, Ken Hamilton, that you had. Yes, Professor Numpty Heat. <laughs> Ken. Where's he from? Ken, he's oh. from Edinburgh, like Ken. Oh, aye, right. And I'll tell you what he yeah. did the other night. He really opened his wallet. And I thought, for goodness oh, I sake. Oh! And it's, I mean, these things are very touching. Aye, but uh, especially coming from Edinburgh, you know? From yeah. Edinburgh, Ken. <laughs> do you remember we used to say, do you remember we used to say, I've done it myself in a, in a, in a speech. Would say, I where would we be without humour, folks? Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even further afield, away up the north of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you took great care of yourself, Jenny, and we'll catch up soon. Well done. And and you, sir. Good night. God bless you. Right to the telephones, folks, as quickly as possible. Lots of words. Scotty, will you be doing regular ten p.m. phone ins? I think we shouldn't up to heat. Are we nine or ten? When's the best time for the phone end? We need to work that out. Well said, Kareem, you become the people who you surround yourself with. It's so important to surround yourself with positive people. I agree. Scotty, you have a real positive vibe around you. David Taylor, you are very kind. I thank you. That's absolutely true, Scotty. Legally, says Alistair King, he's a bit of a top man. Legally, you can film anyone as long as you inform them they're on camera, and they are consenting adults. Good one, Alistair. Dinky do, Scotty Robster. Lovely to have you with us. It's ready to go. So there we are. Fantastic. What have we got here? Are you hit the nail on the head, Kareem? Absolutely. Everybody agreeing? Are you a fan of Rabbi Buns, Scotty? I am. I used to do a lot of bun suppers. And uh, the thing is, of course, covid Put, uh, put paid to that. There we are. Yes, 10 p.m.'s perfect, says David. Dinky do, Scotty. Guys, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock for the future phone ins. What do we decide? You know, I mean, I'm usually up pretty short in the morning, but I'm happy to serve the nation. Several nations, I would say. Dinky do. But I need people to start seriously subscribing to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue on Twitch. TikTok at Scotty McClue. Twitter at Scotty McClue. There we are. The phone number for tonight for the YouTube phone in. There we are. Scotty McClue's YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now. 0141. 628-9795. Have we got enough light? It looks a wee bit ghostly here tonight. There we are. Fantastic. But if we've got enough light, that's fine. It has to be 10 o'clock sharp. Well, you know, not to hit the uh, we're always 10 o'clock sharp on the old phone ends. 10 o'clock sharp and 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday morning on 4th 2. Remember that one. Absolutely excellent. I have to give you a ring about some time. I addressed a few haggis. At one point, fair for your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudden race, aboon them all you tat your priest. Warm, you know. Fantastic. And so there we are, all that kind of stuff. Tripe and fair and, I can't mind it now. They are off the top of my head. Address to the haggis. I believe there's one on YouTube. 
There we are. Both work. Fantastic. Uh, 10 p.m. for me, says Jenny. 10 o'clock sharp. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, says Kareem. Right, Kareem. Thank you, do for 10 o'clock. That's when it's going to be. But you guys are up early in the morning. Will you still be around at 10 o'clock at night? Because if we do from 10, we'll need to be still on at 11. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Now, I'm just looking at the time here. We've been up for an hour and 10 minutes. Do you want to go on a little bit more? So much to talk about, so little time to do it in. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Lovely to have all the Facebookers there. And get following and get sharing, guys. A lot of the success is up to you. I can only do my bit by turning up and chatting. Archie, thank you for that kind gift of £3.50. Scott, have you ever been to Inverary Jail? It is a real spiritual feeling about it. I haven't gone into the jail. I know Inverary very well because it's on the road to Ardrishig and Tarbot. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live just for you, dinky do. Uh, I'm sure Scott has been in many jails, but he's no saying, not to heed, you mustn't judge everyone by yourself. Yes, keep it going, Scotty. Absolutely. We'll just press on with it. No problem at all. And a very, very warm welcome. Trump or Biden, guys? We don't need to go too deeply into it. But the mainstream media has failed the people. And uh, obviously, Trump was the subject of a lot of serious propaganda about the mainstream media, uh, you know, the attacking him and what have you. Was that the right thing to do? So Trump or Biden, I say. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Get on to the telephones, 0141 628 9795, and let's talk. Uh, Dinky Doo Scotty says, J Dog Gaming, J Dog Top Man, how are you tonight? Have you checked the streams for me? Have you done your Yeoman of the Guard and seen that it's coming in live? Uh, do some sharing if you've got a Twitch account, please. Uh, Scott, have you ever been to Rosalind Chapel? Quite a strange, eerie place. Well, Mega Chelsea, it's very eerie. But can I tell you that in Rosalind Chapel, no matter how hard you look, there is no Christian imagery. Am I correct? Tell Ted, tell Ted, I'd say that uh, an impeachment needs to be carried out. I'd like someone younger than Biden and Trump. Well, do you know, the only thing that held up me from being president of the United States, the next POTUS, hashtag POTUS, I'm hashtag Floati, first lord of the internet. Uh, the only thing that's uh, held me up is I'm not a citizen of America. My fellow Americans, Biden's hot with the attack on his people, but still prefer this guy to Trump, says Jerry. Neither. Not good enough for America, says Rob Star. Right, so what about Scotty McClue for POTUS? Get started on that one. And Green Men. Ah, yes. Edinburgh Castle and Dunfermline Abbey are fantastic spiritual places. The king sits in Dunfermline Dune. And Alistair, what does the king do? Or sorry, let's put it in five chat. What does the king do when he's sitting in Dunfermline Dune? Ken, there we go. Because he kens a boy who kens a boy. Who kens me, Ken. So there we are, fantastic. Edinburgh Castle is a wonderful place. It is, David. It used to be a royal residence. And I had some numpty arguing with me that it was a royal residence. It might not be at the moment, but it's got a guard. And it was very much the royal residence in Scotland. There's still a royal palace eh, within Edinburgh Castle. All okay here on Twitch. J Dog, that's fantastic. Have we got any followers on Twitch yet? Are people beginning to wakey wakey and get on to the phone in? Fantastic. Uh, so there we are. He drinks his blood red wine. And Alistair says he drives a Volvo. I hope he doesn't he drive the Volvo after the wine, Ken, or he'll get done. <laughs> he'll hate to blow, and that'll be the end of that. And he'll maybe go new to Fife for some time. Unless he changes at Inverkey, then, Ken. 
and gets himself into Edinburgh, Ken, into Waverley. That's what it's uh, about. Uh, join us as soon as you can, guys. You're watching Scotty McClue. You're also listening to Scotty McClue with Scotty McClue's phone in live on the internet across YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Can everybody do a bit of sharing right now? Because people need to know we're here. The only thing that's holding us up right now is getting it out there. Fantastic. So there we go. Now, Hollywood Palace has strange-looking gargoyle statues on the horse wind. Ken, Hollywood, fantastic. I like Hollywood. You know, I mean, I mind I was visiting Hollywood and I was in the Great Hall. And um, there was a plaque, raised plaque in the middle of the flare and an old blood stain. And I said to the guy on duty, the guide, I said, what's happened here? He says, that's where Rizzio fell. He said, no wonder I nearly tripped to her at my cell. Fantastic. I told that one in East Coast dialect. Legendary stream so far, Scotty. Do you like it? Dave Deprave. What a top man you are. Uh, this is the best stream I've ever seen. This will go in the McClue Hall of Fame. I thank you as dad as dad. Thank you for your generosity, Archie. Ha ha. There are kings and queens of Scotland and tombs under Dunfermline Abbey. There will be, Alistair. They'll be in the royal vault. And when the um, people quote, when I'm telling them that the monarchy is very important to Scotland, they go, oh, well, it's kind of had its day. Ken. And I think, no, 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 in our had its day, the declar they'll go, well, what about the declaration of our broth? People are sovereign. I say, no, the declaration of our broth was a letter written by the Scottish aristocracy to his holiness, the Pope, in was it 1340 and it's asking him begging him can we choose our own monarch and queen elizabeth ii is an heir and successor of the monarch we chose so there you go now you know up there with the greats with orson wells war of the worlds yes this is the stuff of legends dave deprave you will get nothing but the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth on here Fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Do come and join us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, the father of feminism, and the world's most humble man, live just for you, saying thank you. The monarchy belongs to Scotland. It does, Alistair. It is a Scottish institution going back 2,347 years. Ken, absolutely true. I know Kenneth McAlpin was the first of the moderns, but these are the ancients I'm talking about, the ancestors and forebears of Re, R-I, the ancient Celtic king. Now you know the monarchy does belong to Scotland. Not any calls in the last five minutes. Your talk's too intriguing, mate. Oh, I don't know about that. Don't be listening to me. Get on and call and make your point. That's what it's about, guys. If anybody's got something to say on that, you're very welcome to phone us. There we are. Uh, good night, Scotty. Speak tomorrow. If you're on live, we will, Kareem. Lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do from Scotty McClue. Can we all say good night to Kareem in our usual accustomed fashion? Good night, Kareem. Sleep well, Kareem. There we are. It's an old adage that I've just made up. Right. To the telephones, the Queen has handled the sad passing of her husband with real class, a wonderful lady. Her Majesty the Queen is an outstanding public servant. So there we are. I was arguing with a clapped out hippie today about it. He was trying to get me on the royal yacht. You'll see it on Facebook. So there we have it now. Night, night, Kareem, says Mega Chelsea. Mega Chelsea, absolutely. He's off to his bobos. Now, how are we doing for time? Yeah, how long have we been up? We've been up for one hour and 20 minutes. Woo! Call in, guys. Let's go. Absolutely, Dave. Feel free to call in. Uh, let's check the lines are working anyway. 
Now there's a legendary Scotsman's as rock jam. Dinky do that, Scotty McClue. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening to you, rock jam. Lovely to have you with us. How's things on YouTube and Facebook? Have you followed me? Have you subscribed? Very, very important. Subscribe. Can anybody tell me how many subscribers we've got on Facebook? It should be around the 2,900 mark. But to tell us something like that. So get calling in, of course. Get phoning. Scotty, what did people use to clean teeth before toothpaste? Uh, salt. I think would be what they used. Am I right, Robert? You should be a history teacher, Scotty. Alistair King, what a lovely thing to say. It's one of my favorite subjects. And believe it or not, I have taught quite a lot of it. So there we are. And a lot of people have done very well in their exams because Scotty McClue has taught them. Uh, good night, green buddies, says Archie. Uh, good night, excellent stuff. Fantastic. Am I right, Robert? And uh, now then, what do we got here? Uh, nice, Scotty. I'll give you a call soon to discuss the Queen's consent. When you say the Queen's consent, do you mean the royal assent? Is that what we're talking about? ESS. -S. No, it was charcoal, Scotty. Well, Robert Scrimmager, I think charcoal was made in Argyle in a place called Furness. Hence the name. Thumbness. There we go. Charcoal. Wow. I thought it would have been salt. Liked and shared, Scotty. We need to get you out there big time on the internet to entertain and educate. Top man. Bob Youngson. What a privilege and a pleasure to have you with us. Top man. Fantastic. Quality chat on here, you know. None of your nonsense. Can I genuinely say, you know, if I can contain my emotion, I am so mega, mega impressed with the high caliber of people we've got on here. Intelligent, interesting people. You could come and tutor Junior. He might actually listen, Ken. Alistair, Junior listens to you a lot more than he makes out. <laughs> He'll be taking it all in and uh, get him onto the motors and everything. That's what it's all about. Although it's very funny, not all fathers um, make great teachers, but a lot of them do, and I think you'll be one of them. Alistair, I can remember a friend, my favorite teacher who taught music, and I remember his daughter saying it was so difficult for her to learn music with dad in the house, shouting, no, 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 B flat, all that sort of stuff, so there you go. I'm sure muck and pebbles were used to wash hands in the past for soap. Well, they were, I think it was numpteed, I think they used to use turf. And I can remember when we were in the Boy Scouts, we'd cooked sausages and we'd nothing to clean the pan with. And the river water wasn't making any effect on the, on the fat because it was dripping, beef dripping or lard we'd used, which I think is pork fat. Anyway, long story short, in comes one of the scouters, the leaders at the time, with a huge hunk of turf and wiped it round the pan. And it was clean in no time. It just needed a wee wipe up. Fantastic. Um, Queen's consent difference from royal assent, Scotty. I'll discuss it with you on a call. Maybe tomorrow or next week. It's a long story for intellectuals like me and you. Well, Robert Scrimger, I can tell you, you will not be out of place on here for intellectuals because tonight has been an outstanding night in the phone-in. Absolutely outstanding. We'll give it another seven minutes, guys, if you want to call. Uh, he likes to answer back a lot, listens to his granny more than me. He's about to become a teenager, so yes, I'm getting Mr. Attitude at the moment. Well, don't worry about it. Here's just one tiny tip. See when he goes... Um, you go, would you like a pizza for lunch? Goes, Am I no getting fish fingers? Or if you say, would you like to see the sound of music or as a video? No, I'd rather date say, listen, how come you're always wanting to do something else to what you're actually doing? Yes? So there we go. You know, you can you can always uh, you can always reason 
with them, you know what I mean? Loving the calls coming in. We learn so much knowledge from you, Scotty. Robster, not at all. There are so many clever people on here tonight. How's about suit for cleaning your teeth? How's about for cleaning your suit? There we go. We don't know about that one. <laughs> Although uh, chimney sweeps were regarded as lucky. I don't know if we do it in Scotland, but in England, you used to quite often see a chimney sweep turn up at a wedding. In fact, some of them made a few quid out of it, turning up with a face all blacked up with a suit and the brushes and the top hat and the bike. Sweeps arrived. The sweeps go. <laughs> if you go to, like, a Yorkshire wedding, like, they go, tons come. I love it. Dinky do. Lots of messages from you guys. Very, very much appreciated. Um, if you want to phone in before we dash off, do please. You've got four minutes <clears throat> tonight. Can I just give you a word or two about this? We started this about four nights ago, not as a phone in, just to check the technical side to see if it worked or not. And tonight you could look at either our first or our second actual phone in. We didn't go live on TikTok because they didn't like the number being given out. They said data protection they cited and they wouldn't go back on it. So that's that. He gets told what I was told at that age. Take what you can of your staff. If answered back, I got a clout. Now then, you're live on Scotty. Who's that? Hello, I've just got a couple words. Before you go off, it's your friend from the borders. Ah. I just want to say tonight's dream will go down in history because this marks the rise of the McClue online phone -ins. It's I can I can see this being in the Hall of Fame. I think Archie, although I say it myself, I think you've got that spot on, and it's not to do with me. It's to do with the caliber of the people we're getting, like uh, your good I'm self. Really you know. <laughs> Yeah, I started watching you maybe mid-July when I was staying I was down in Chester in England and I, and I really enjoyed it. And I, when I started to research and I saw the, you know, when you were on radio, Scottish having the like, and I'm so glad to see this phoning up now. And it's we've noticed the difference in subscribers within two shows. Yes. Yes, they're up. I mean, you don't know how many YouTubers we've got subscribing. Exactly. I don't know the exact numbers. Right, but it certainly shot up today. Oh, exactly. There's some people saying, what would you do if you had your 15 minutes of fame? Your fame is, well, you're famous, but you're going to become even more famous with this. I guarantee you, I'm calling it. Wow. You're some man. Archie, great hearing your quality chat, my boy. Oh, thank you. And as we say, as we say in the best of circles, right across the Scottish borders, dinky do. Dinky do to you, my good friend. Thanks, Archie. All the best. What a nice thing to say. That man's got a lot to say. I can tell. Uh, Dave says, "Show us your million pound note again, Scotty. It's amazing. I don't have it with me. It's in safekeeping in the vault. So there we go, Scotty. What would you do if you have your fifteen minutes of fame?" I think Numpty Heed, I would use that to see if I could really help something big move in the world. Do you know what I mean? Something like that. That 15 minutes is very important that I use that well and use that wisely. I once got asked, somebody said, see, because all you're mucking about in the media and stuff like that, you'll not get a knighthood and you'll not get an OBE and stuff. And I said, listen, I would only be interested in anything like that if I could use it to further other people. Do you know what I mean? Because if I was going to be something big, surely I would have been it by now. <laughs> but I think the future holds something very, very big for all of us. I can see it here. And I think this is... Uh, just we're scratching the surface here guys but if it keeps expanding the way it's done over the last night or two this is big news plus uh, i may be going back on the radio on a big station so and you'll be able to get it on the internet and digital all sorts of things 
you know so i'll let you know all about that uh, as we go so there you go that's what i would say numpty heat if i could help other people fantastic it's a bit like the house of laws do i want to sit down in westminster uh you know tucked into the big chamber not unless i could help people right what an awesome stream thank you dave it has been awesome tonight because i've seen a lot of shows now this is the big one there we go now then uh he would use his 15 minutes and give it back to the people i would alistair you're right your 15 minutes of fame was shaking my hand twice at the video signing that was my 15 minutes of fame not to eat yours is still to come uh, again the future's bright robster the future is very very bright indeed guys that's an hour and a half i'm going to say good night and god bless to every single one of you and dinky do thank you so much for joining us tonight we'll pop up tomorrow night at 10 o'clock sharp we'll try and keep it at 10 o'clock to see how it goes and thank you for your contributions from amazing stuff who's put this bob says he's famous already an immortal in radio land absolutely down at the bottom of dingleydale radio land doesn't cut the mustard for i know his face william absolutely scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you thanks for watching good night god bless and ta-ra-las <laughs>